Hello and welcome to Gen 4. We are at Nashville Super Speedway this week, and you know I couldn't miss that. One of my favorite tracks on iRacing and in my favorite car. Favorite oval car, probably favorite car overall, too. Here in the Gen 4. Can't wait until they get uh, the actual Gen 4 in here so we're not actually technically driving around a nationwide car. Or I guess at the time it would have been a... Uh, would it have been Bush series at the time? I think it was nationwide at the time. But uh, we're going out for qualifying here. Going to try to get a good run at the line and see how fast we can be. Now, it is a night race, so it should be a lot of grip out here, but still can't overdrive it. And I don't want to get loose or anything either, even if I can push it pretty good. Might just try to hit a solid lap this time in. And uh, see if we can go even faster the next lap. Get a good run out of four there. And about a tenth off my optimal, but still solid. The way you can like hit this bottom line down here that goes really well. Don't think I hit it there though. You can probably tell I'm pushing it harder this lap because that was very much not smooth, but it was kind of fast. Ooh, got close to the wall there. This will be a little bit faster. I think we'll take the apron. We're in the eights. So I can feel pretty good about that. I could have been smoother. I could have hit my marks a little bit better, but I think I did a decent enough job. We are the number one car, unfortunately. I was really excited to try this race, and so I got home from work tonight on a Tuesday night. And uh, we had about 30 people signed up, I think. But just a 2.4k strength of field, a little below average, maybe, from what I'm used to. But not the worst by any means. Just we are, unfortunately, the number one car. So that means uh, iRacing has high expectations of us. So far, so good, it looks like, on our queue time. The only one in the eights right now, but we could still have more people coming in with their laps. How much time we got? We got like two minutes, so we'll go around one more time. And uh, assuming not everybody readies up, we'll do a practice pit in. And uh, if they do, oh well. That's good news anyway. Ready to get going. And I already practiced a pit in anyway, so I'm fully prepared in case this goes green, and I hope it does. Asheville Super Speedway's got a reputation for clean racing, but then again, official Gen 4 does not have a good reputation for clean racing. So we'll see what happens. Kind of a unstoppable force versus a movable object here. You reset the car and try again. I had a question recently about that call that just happened. Um, from what I understand, the reason that it bothers us about that now when I enter the pit to practice pit in is because uh, it was an exploit people could do. Entering the pits on lap one of qualifying, driving through the pits at uh, you know pit road speed, and then going back up to speed for lap two, and then it would like get their tire temps at the right perfect optimal temperature or something like that but uh, that's why if you enter the pits now it'll say warning any further lap times from beyond this point will not count and so if I were to do that on lap one and try to get a, a fast lap lap two it wouldn't count it so thankfully it doesn't mess with our uh, times we've already set and so I can still practice my pit in but uh, that's just another qualifying scrutiny thing kind of like uh, if you start dragging your brakes exiting the pits They'll uh, say, hey, you have to restart before your lap time counts again. So, that's just something they added, I believe, at the start of this season. And uh, that's, from what I understand, what that's all about. It looks like we're going to have to wait the full time because we have a couple people that aren't actually here. So, glad I got a little bit of extra track time. I think it's split once because I, I remember there being more than 21 people that's signed up. So, I'm guessing... Position. Nice one. Probably a one split. Minimum I rating in here is a 1.5k. 
And then, of course, we're the number one with a 5.7K. Seeing if we can get back to 5.8 after the Silver Crown uh, race. Poor results put us back down a little lower. And uh, we'll get grid in here. Ready to go. Let's see. We got 80 laps and 49 laps of fuel. So we'll probably take that pretty far. If not the full tank, pretty close. The estimated strength of fuel is... 2,656. That's higher than the actual 2.4k strength of field. But, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get green flag racing. And take this to maybe like a lap 45 or something. 46. That'll depend on what's going on, too. If someone passes us and we want to do an undercut, maybe to try to take the lead back or something. Maybe we'll do it. But, uh, at least want to wait until 41 or so, so... If a bunch of people hit lap 40 and start spinning out on entry, we don't get caught out by a poorly timed caution. Got the pole, though. That's pretty neat. That's pretty heckin' neato, dude. I'm sorry. Don't leave. I'm sorry. Uh, we are going to put the session last lap up. I was uh, making sure to check the fuel amounts, because... The fuel burns out pretty quick in these cars. I guess it's the high uh, RPMs and stuff. All the power is using up a bunch of fuel. I guess that's how that works. And smaller tank. So, a lot of times you can barely make it to halfway, it feels like. Got a nice little, uh, like, nine lap gap, though. Buffer, that is, to work with. Only two sets of tires, which is interesting. We might have to use those wisely if we do get some cautions. And we're going to get rolling here in a second. There we go. I'm definitely going to check for a uh, tire spin. It's definitely a big thing in this car a lot of the time. It's looking like it's going to be a second gear start. And it looks like it's going to be a low rev start. So maybe we can hit the gas pretty good. But I'm definitely going to check first. Remember, boys, it's a long race. Good reminder from the 21. Long race. He has a point. Yeah, definitely uh, can get on the gas pretty good here, since we're only at about 5,000 RPM when we're hitting the gas. Might have to watch out a little bit once uh, the RPMs do get a little higher. Sometimes you can get late wheel spin, kind of strangely, with how this works. We'll just, we'll just have to be aware, be ready. About to go green, stay focused. The pace yeah. car is off, be ready. Pace car is off, time to do your job. Green, 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 green. green. And we're off. Got a pretty good jump, I think. Ourselves about uh, four tenths heading into turn one. I overdrove it though, misjudged my speed. Cutting into turn one, easy to do, as you're normally not uh, gassing it up at that point. That's okay, we got it figured out. Just got to get into a rhythm here. We'll be just fine. All right, that's a little more like it. Get it slowed down. Make sure we're hitting our marks. Use the brake bias. I got minimum brake bias, by the way. Minimum brake bias helping it turn on entry. And uh, we'll see if we can hold off the two. The two looking pretty fast. Got to be careful. I might be overdriving a little bit on the entries. Be a little bit. Very big gap to third already, somehow. You're now in the lead. Now in the lead. Just now. According to my spotter crew chief man. That's why we pay him the big bucks. Keeps us informed. <laughs> I 
feeling good. Gotta watch out uh, getting loose on the exits as well. I'm gonna push it pretty decent for the first run, because I think we're gonna want to be on the right rear as much as possible, but if uh, it turns out being a lot looser than I expect, might have to be more gentle on the right rear and on the throttle on exits later in the race. Might have to make that adjustment. The two is definitely not letting us get away. It's right back there in our rear view mirror. Tries to go alongside, I'll probably just let him go. I don't think fighting side by side is going to help either of us early on here. Lots of race to go. And he might be faster right now anyway. Try to limit our mistakes, try not to get sideways. Anything like that. Let's see if we can have ourselves a smooth, clean tire run. Such a great track, though. Love Nashville Super Speedway. Not quite a mile and a half. A bit tighter around the corners than you might think. So it requires... Requires the driver to slow down a good bit. Especially when you're going fast in this car. Lots of fun to drive. See if I can't keep it smooth, take deep breaths, not try to do too much, just try to be consistent. I think that's all we really need right now. Make sure I'm driving the racing line, getting smooth on the throttle, braking enough on entries, and I think we should be in a good spot. Guy behind still two tenths. Two point four back to third. I don't know, maybe I do battle the guy if he gets up here because we have lots of space to work with. Normally I wouldn't, but Maybe I can... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling at the time, if he gets here, I guess. Seriously, Nine? Nine has done something that that guy did not like. Nothing worthy of a yellow flag, at least. Starting to see some guys on our relative, though. I mean, try to cut a dude's clock and you get run over. Wonder if we'll get to that lap traffic before the end of this first run. Seven seconds to the first of them, the 19. He was right on me. He might be looking to pass. now completing lap 14, so I think we definitely will get 
with some live traffic at some point. Hopefully they'll be uh, nice to us, give us the racing line. If the guy does get to us, maybe we'll fight him a little bit. Have some fun with that, I guess. So we do have a huge gap to third. Why not? Make him wear his tires trying to get around us, maybe. He's got better run off the corner, though. Still there at the bottom. Still there. Still there at the bottom. Hang on, is outside? I'm gonna be annoying, I guess. Clear. But he clears us. Wasn't too hard for him. Of course, I didn't, like, race it like, like it's the last lap, but I did hold on to him for a little bit. The next car's the leader. Maybe get a glimpse at his line, see how he's running through the corners. Like he entered a little bit harder, maybe. Let's get into the bottom a little bit better. Earlier in the corner, at least. That's interesting. Did you can have it? That last lap was at thirty point eight. Oh, yeah, you're welcome. Oh, you got we'll try to keep up with him at least, see what we can do. Ooh, got a lot of rotation there. A little bit too much. Got on the throttle a little too hard. That lap time was 30.8. Oh, he gets the wall. He gets the wall in the entry of three. It's not telling too bad, but I'm sure he didn't want to be doing that. About to get the wall in the exit of four. I wonder if I should have been uh, being easier on the right rear, maybe. It seems like he's getting a lot of his grip on the exit. Maybe I should have been uh, easier with that throttle pedal. We'll see what our tire readings are when we come in. Getting closer to that time. We're 20 laps in at this point. Just under just halfway until when we plan to come in. Coming up on that lap traffic as well, the 19 up there. Lap I can only get around the 11 up. Catch up. Your last lap time was at 31.0. Right, catch course. him at a bad time. Keep it up. Like we will. Outside. Awful time to catch a lap car. Clear. He's in the wall, too. He's pulling away from us. He's done a better job of saving, it looks like. I think he nearly got the wall there, though. Sorry about that, 17 didn't mean to get into you.
He's really maximizing his corners. He's using up every inch of the track. Maybe where he's getting the edge on me, but I'm not that brave. I feel like I'll slap the wall before the end of this thing if I try doing that. I get pretty close to the wall a lot of the time, but... That was my noise that just happened. If we need a medical check-in on that guy. <laughs> if you die in the game, you die for real. Thankfully we're not falling off real, real bad on the guy you had. I think he's inching away from us overall, but... At least he's not just putting huge laps on us. Alright. Maybe I could stay lower through the exit of two. I think there might be more speed down there if I do that. I guess that by that logic I could probably do it in four as well. I don't know. You've just done a 31.2. Good consistency. Keep them coming. Half a second ahead. Might have to try that undercut I was talking about. See if we can get around him again, although maybe that's not a great idea because he's shown that he can be better long run, save his tires better. All we're going to do there is have older tires than the guy. Is that really what we want? I don't know. Through 28. I wonder when we're first uh, going to start seeing people coming in for tires. Fuel. Probably about lap 35, maybe, for some guys. Wanting to do a big undercut, maybe feel like they killed their tires and need to come in as soon as possible. Usually you'll see a couple guys do the real early pit. The guy head's probably going to wait until at least 40 though. Probably a little bit longer since he has the advantage right now. Tap the wall there. I had a bad corner though. That was 31.3. Coming up on the 16 now. We caught him at a bad time. I think he might have had to lift for him there. That lap was at 31.3. I had, can't really enter as hard as he wants to, I don't think. Outside. Go low. Clear outside. Let's be side by side with the lap car heading into the corner, so don't quite get the angle we need. We are starting to come back to the guy a little bit ahead. See if that was just because of the lap car or if because maybe his tires are starting to hurt. Working hard though. He's got a lot of speed. I nearly put myself in the wall. 
was having a lot of handling issues out of that corner. It's loose, but like drifting up the track at the same time. I can't put myself in the wall trying to catch this guy. That is not going to be good for business. He nearly gets the wall there. We're both driving pretty hard, I think. Maybe that's the key for me. We know he's pushing hard. Maybe if I'm just consistent and smooth. Start catching him. We are catching him right now. Very interesting. Windows open allegedly. This lap 35, I guess. Or, you know, we completed 35, I mean. Within two tenths. Starting to pull back away a little bit, though, maybe. Don't want to pit too early, but the undercut is appealing. Then again, we started getting back on him. So do we want to Thanks for that room there, Brandon. ride out these tires a little longer? Hard to say. He's pulling back away, though. He might have just had a rough couple of laps. Okay, Colton. We're matching race pace. Sawn at the wheel, pretty loose on exit. Banks is now leading. If we come in lap forty one, I think that might be our best bet. Might change my mind if Hits earlier than that. That was a bad corner. It was a little bit too high up the track. And crazy how I started catching him again, then all of a sudden it starts pulling back away. I don't know what to make of that in terms of how our tire wears are doing comparatively. Go high on the this time. A good seven seconds back to third, though. That's pretty cool. That's half distance. We think about eight laps of fuel left. We come in now. Nah, too risky. Wait another lap or two. Nine fitness time, nine fitness time. Got people wow. coming in. Okay, Colton. Hot chance pretty consistent. As well use the tires up, I guess. Driving a little bit harder. See what happens. equal out because I don't get a good exit is what happens. If we come in now, no. that's what we do. Uh, we can even get to the bottom. We got some people coming up on us. 
on the inside. We're coming up on them. Re-entering. Watch your speed. All right. Speed limit is Successful entry. We'll fuel you to the end of the race. Make sure it's a quick stop. Got the fuel. Got the tires. Pit box team. Ten. Five, three, two, one, right here. Guy almost gets into me. 66, 51. Oh, I guess I should probably be nicer to the right rear, huh? The lead is pitting now. The leader pitting now. We get the undercut on him. Not much. All clear. Punch it. You only have one time yet remaining. Have you pit? Very slippery. Careful. Car outside. Keep low. Clear. Outside. Outside. Clear. Careful getting around, guys, here. Outside. The eight. Keep low. Clear up top. Round over tires. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear. Is car leaving the Oof. I was a little aggressive, but he's got like 10 lap older tires. I gotta do what I gotta do here. He's fine. Oh my gosh, she's getting loose. What are you doing? Pick a lane, please. Clear inside. We're fine, we're fine. Hitting, 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 hitting. Loose though. No idea where the other guy has come out. The lead is hitting now. He's behind us. About a second and a half, I think it was. Car outside. Still there, hold your line. Just gotta get around guys safely. Clear high. We'll probably try to be a little more gentle on the right rear this time, now that we know what we know. That is that we're getting on the right rear real big. Car outside. The car in front is pitting. Clear outside. Alright, we're getting through the whole pit cycle, getting pretty close. Finding out where we stack up. Thinking out back in the lead. We might still have to catch some people that uh, stayed out long. Oh, I see we're P2. P2 right now. Yeah, when I pit in, it just felt like the right time. We had some lap traffic ahead of us that could have potentially slowed me down. And it was yeah, right around really the right time one. anyway. So. Do a little bit of an undercut, no caution, and we're back out in the lead, so everything works out just fine. We've got a 1.6 second lead now, but uh, nothing is guaranteed. We found out that the guy behind is better on the long run overall, it seems like. So we're going to have to work hard still. I changed my approach a little bit now that I know where the tire wear is. He's got one lap fresher tires, according to Race Lab. Good information to have. More gentle on the exit. Hopefully, uh, bring that 6651 a little bit closer to even. Good consistency. Keep him coming. 
We also have a shorter run now than we did the first half, completing almost 44 full laps in the first half. Now we just have to do around 36. Hey, 36 is a pretty good number for me. It's my car number whenever I uh, am allowed to choose it, so that's pretty cool. Gap two banks behind is now 1.2. I like 36 because it was Ken Schrader's old number when he had uh, the M&M's car and stuff. It's like my favorite driver, favorite car to see on the track when I was younger. Ken Schrader, also from Missouri, like I am. So he was a fun guy to root for. Kind of an underdog pick, too, um, during the times whenever I would, uh, when I was watching racing growing up. Plus, uh, bonus, when I used to make music more often, I still mess around with it a little bit. Leaders, are y'all using any break? Oh yeah, plenty. Use the clutch. Clutch. <laughs> that guy's trolling. Good to know, I just made sure I wasn't was in time somewhere I didn't need to be. Man, he's within a second almost behind us. At least he was catching so fast. That's a little concerning. Man, he's fast. And he's been better long run, too, so what am I going to do? I don't know what I'm going to do about all this. Probably lose. That's probably what I'm going to do. Oh, right, what I was saying before. Um, I used to make music under the name E6, and if you flip that E okay, on a horizontal axis, you get a 3. Hey, 36, right? So, whatever. 36 seems like a good number. <laughs> the answer, banks behind is now right now, number one is the number I want to see, though. And uh, it's slipping out of my grasp as he gets about a tenth closer every lap. I've got to hope that uh, his tires even out. something because he is making a big gains he's got to pass me too though which he's done it once already and it didn't really it wasn't really all that hard for me or for him Maybe him having to set something up will slow him down a little bit. I gotta hope. So we got a lot of time left to go still. Just don't think I can keep the tires on it the same way he can. I wonder if he's doing like a brake drag while using both pedals kind of thing, putting some throttle in it. If you did that just right, you would probably uh, get some good rotation and still carry some speed. I've tried learning how to do that effectively, but not very successful with it. Man, he is just about here. You just done a thirty point eight.
focusing. I'm trying to trying to keep pace, but it's within two tenths now. It's got so much speed through the center of the corner. The corner. I think he's being more brave with the throttle pedal, maybe. I don't know what he's doing. He's doing better than me, whatever it is. Seventeen to go. Lap times are pretty consistent. Enough laps up there to know what the hell I'm doing up there. Still inside. Still there, inside. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. He's got us, there's no way I can hold on to it out. Still there, inside. Clear. Car outside. Clear up top. The next car's the leader. Well, he pinched us real tight and uh, had to turn hard left in order for him not to get hooked on me. I get it though. Didn't want me to get back to the inside. Understandable there. Doesn't mean I have to like it. He's gone now. That last lap was at 31.3. Maybe we can hope uh, for another breath of life like we did uh, have in that first part of the race, but. Or we can wait for him to hit the wall on entry some more. And that's not going to be enough right now, though, it looks like. that. I'm trying too hard. Get tight a little bit there. We have someone on the apron and coming up right into the racing line. That's cool. Hold them to do that. Wow. Outside. Keep low. Get out of the Go way. Low. Outside, clear. Are you pinching me all the way down the bottom on the front, on the back stretch, man? Uh, let me just try my inside. Yeah, you could have just let us go before you got on track. Well, that was stupid. At least we survive it. I mean, if we had any hope, it's gone now, though. Man, this sim can be so frustrating at times. Great job. Game to go. what his issue was. He was getting in the way into turn one for the leader. He's driving in lane one and a half through the one, middle of one and two, so I go to his bottom. And then he just holds me at the very bottom of the track all the way down the back stretch. Like, he has no control over what his car is doing or something.
now the 17 now. Can you please stop bounding on me? I got another bad point. Nobody wants to lift. Stay low. Leaders. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Outside is clear. You've just done a 31.4. I didn't even hear what the guy said in response when I was driving. Can't imagine what, <laughs> what justification he had, but oh well, I wasn't going to win this one anyway. He had better long run. In front of us here. Alright Colton, lap times are pretty consistent. Now 1.0. At least we were pretty good on second place though. We got a freaking 12 second gap down to third. What if that gave us damage when we made contact? No damage to report. Nah, it looks like nothing. I didn't think so. Kind of like just gently tried to push him up the crack because it was holding me at the freaking yellow line. to go. Gonna need him to smack the wall real hard or something if we want any chance. Good fight. Do not require us to have a late Race restart, that would be terrible. Dang, I shouldn't have put myself in there. Ah, I shouldn't have put myself there in the first place. The time was at the 2.4. The answer banks ahead is now 0.9. Congratulations to this lobby, though. It's been a minute since I've actually ran a race without any caution. I just would like to get to the white flag. Two Late more, restart sounds like a really bad proposition. Almost guarantee you somebody would be dumb and leave there and stay out with no tires. This is just only going to end in disaster. Looks like he's backing off because he doesn't want to catch the lap car ahead. I kind of don't blame him. I agree, he's talked to his lobby. One more to go. Keep it together, we'll be on the podium. You've just done a 21.4. Well, we'll finish in uh, within one second, at least. Not the worst. Tried a little bit of something different that second run. See if I could uh, Good win, Josh. make a difference. Good race, Coke. Nice one, Colton. Great drive. Good seeing you again. Chicken flag, chicken flag. Good race, good win, man. Know how to drive that you can stop talking right about me. You did really well. I have a car right now, buddy. Fantastic race, everyone, and crack on the win, Joshua. Yeah, good race, good win, man. I just couldn't quite match your long run speed there. That was fun racing you, Golden. That was pretty fun there. I didn't mean to chop you in the trial. I just didn't know 
if you got underneath, I would have been fighting hard, but I didn't want to get that. <laughs> Oh, uh, I know, I know, I knew why you did it, because that was going to be a headache, being uh, on the inside of you there, I totally understand. No worries. Nice race, fellas. Good win. <laughs> like Josh. I said, I understood it. I understood why you did it. Thanks, fellas. Well, good race, boys. Nice to see you. Go green all the way. Yeah, it was a great race. 68-62, so I did match yeah, my tire wear a little bit better that time, but I don't know if it did us any good, necessarily. So, we'll take a look at the incidents, and I want to look at uh, when I made contact with the guy on the back stretch too, in case I was overreacting and just being a big jerk, which, you know, maybe. Maybe I'm just a big jerk. Clutch? Uh. I'll let. Josh, answer that. I don't know if there's some sort of... <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Maybe there's like some weird strategy, but... <laughs> I, I... <laughs> I don't know if uh... I assumed that guy was just joking when he's like oh you gotta clutch it up uh... but no nah, just a minimum brake bias is what I went with I probably could have lowered it in the car too actually I wonder if that would have helped that probably would have, actually. I could kind of like drag the brake like I was and maybe would turn it just a little bit more. But then again, it wasn't the right front that was hurting. It was the right rear. But maybe if I saved both more, then I would be faster. Maybe that's where the issue is. I'm just, uh... I'm just trying to figure out what uh, he did better than us. Straight left. Oh, right, I'll share that. 68, 62. When did I pit? Let me find out when I can pit so I can tell him that too. Was it 43? That was... We came in this lab, didn't we? Yeah. Okay. So, just, uh... Finding some information. Hopefully that, uh... Good race. All right, so back to the incident. Sorry for the intermission there. We'll get back to what we were doing. Haven't seen too much so uh, so far. Lap 11. Ooh, the 21 lifts off real hard on entry. I think the 9 wasn't quite expecting that. I think he was probably trying to let him go, but just no one expects someone to be that uh, slow on entry, I guess. This guy's having a... A really rough time getting it slowed down. He's expecting the banking to be higher, I think. You really got to get on the brakes good here, that's for sure. The 8 really struggling. He's uh, fighting through that loose real hard. I'm going to just have to skip through this guy. He's uh, just murdering his tires and stuff. That's probably why, why that's showing up. We're right about that time where we're going to see some more entire stuff. Into the wall there. I think just about everybody has pit at this point. 
Whoa, that was close. Is that guy pitting in? I think the 16 was pitting in and maybe didn't say anything, or maybe the 9 just didn't hear it. Because he was not expecting him to be pitting in there. Dangerous situation. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I probably shouldn't have done that, but I was kind of frustrated because I'm like, why are you driving down the middle of the track, man? Like, he, are, he pinches me so hard on the exit. <laughs> I'm a jerk. But, I mean, come on, I need space to turn into the corner. Five. Wow, that was almost a caution right there. Oh, it couldn't have been because that was the last lap. Wow, okay, that was kind of rude. This guy's dumping this guy for uh, fourth place. That doesn't seem very called for. And then the three loses several spots because of it. Man, that sucks. I'd be mad. Dumps him and the guy loses several spots. Is he going to go retaliate on the guy? He's thinking about it. He's following him. The Jaws theme is playing. Nope. He is a mature individual who does not need revenge. I guess. He's just doing more laps. Oh, and then there's the frustration. <laughs> And uh, that'll do it. The two gets the win. Well earned. He uh, definitely had uh, the best approach. He had the fastest speed overall with his long runs and everything. But uh, hey, we put up a pretty good showing. We'll get P2. I'm happy with that. And uh, we will look at the race results page now. Alright, here it is. So... Strength of field was a 24-52, not too bad, like I uh, guessed, two splits, and we'll have the fastest lap, just barely, but uh, what mattered was having that long run speed, which we didn't quite have compared to the two, but we still get 20 I rating, still had 0x, and a 141 championship points, so pretty darn good day, I think, I'm very happy with that, so uh, that'll do it though. Great combo. Love the car. Love the track. It was a pretty fun race. So thank you for joining me for this one. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you next time. Have a good one.